flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Ray. Ooh, she pretty. There's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> oh. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Hey, girl. Hey. Recognize her. Hey. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. Is she the girl from the bar? You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed. Yeah, it's the vampire lady, I think. Appointment yeah. at Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. You're a vamp. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow Indeed. me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I hey. remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. How are you doing? Apologies. Glad to see you. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. You may have killed your sister, but you got yourself a hot vampire GF, so I hope when? you're more disposed to answer I think my it's a good questions trade -off. now. Yeah. <laughs> you must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Damn. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Damn. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? No. If that was the case, I'd settle no. the matter myself. Oh, I'll call it. to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, <clears throat> is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. condition. Yeah. Well, you felt like you had answers, but you have to work for it. That sucks. Hey, why is Thelma up? Bread with no respect. Oh, hey, hear it. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Where's Swanson? Dr. Swansea is Swanson quite busy. Swanson is quite busy. And I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave. 
threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. That's I so funny the way she said cunt. An investigation I'm sorry. Medical error. Debauchery then? Nurses Debauchery? Hawkins, Brannigan's Debauchery. Whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen those scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if Slutty you have so irrefutable proof... Slut shaming? What a kind! Such a mess. Fuck you! This is your business, Doctor, not huh. mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've Thank given you me something Thank you for your time, go. Miss Jones. See you on the next round. This See is you like, on the other side. She's like, the nurse is getting some and I'm not! And that pisses me this off! Well, this is also... <laughs> This is also like eight, like 1916, so. An ankle, dude. How dare she? How dare she? Damn. Dun, 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 dun. Run, Clay! It's Clay. Clay. <laughs> What's up, Clay? What's up, Clay? What's up? What's how you doing? What's up, Clay? What's up, bitch? Oh. Where this motherfucker for me to buy illegal shit? Where's the illegal? Hi. Hey. Bye. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still. I'd like more choice, Doctor. doctor. <laughs> oh, wrong, yeah. wrong guy. Yeah. Uh. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. Good evening. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Hey, Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You That's spoke strange, with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Yeah, you're kind of sussy, Chica. No matter how you feel about her, Sus. Miss Jones deserves our... Sussy! I don't care for her. Hate is what sussy. keeps the old crone alive. Hate keeps the old crone alive. The about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if the nurse <laughs> finds the Man! Strange man visiting nurses? What can you do? Oh. Uh, goodbye, Nassau. Where's the fucking dude with the thing? Bloody. Well, you're already gonna die, probably. So you're not mine. <laughs> Any you just go in there and the girl's like, hey, can you tell me, like, everything you can? about like what's going on right now and then you just bite the dying man and he she's like what the fuck uh, <laughs> wrong people fuck me where's the guy that was selling healing shit be right back good evening sir so it is true the famous oh. dr reed has joined us i can't think of any better news during these terrible times do we know each other Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. Yeah. He was also very confident about your yes, future. Yes, Queen. And yes, you know, Queen. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. 
Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time Underhanded for reality, my dear. Oh. Oh. We're here oh. to save lives. We are here to save the lives. What is the Pembroke you Hospital right? situation? Yeah. And please speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. Sir, he worked on the field. I think anything that's like, you know. It's more than enough. You know? In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more. If he worked on the field as a field medic, medic, it's better than in the dirt dying, you know? Appearances, mm -hmm. Dr. Reed. Golly. This hospital does not lack talented people, it just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? You can't. Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Ow. I uh, forgot at the I forgot about the time and the sexism made me angry. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swan. Uh, different times. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Jeez. God damn. God damn. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Bye, Doctor. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Doctor. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. What was that, uh... Oh, fuck. I don't know. Here you fucking are. Get over here. I will find you and I will buy that shit. <laughs> I will what find you. Much? I will find you and I will buy you. And I'm going to buy your things. There's nothing you can do about it. Bitch. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Bitch. Such a pleasure to see you again. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's what just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. In time. Oh. Uh -huh. Opium. The drugs. The drugs. I'm so sorry if anyone hears me making crunching sounds. I'm eating chips. That's fine. I mean, you know? This is chips. You gotta eat, bitch! The chips. Sodium something, something. Sodium hypochlor hypochlorite solution. Yeah, you do. Mom, there I require sodium. 
It'd be Ish Guardian Salt it's Rock. Salt. We have work to do. Oh no. Please <laughs> no. The sodium rock. All right, everyone, if you le lick this communal salt rock, you too will not feel fatigued. And they're like, Doctor, what the fuck? Do you realize how unsanitary that is? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Here Just I was. The rock. Here I was saying the thing I was looking for. Uh, and then I find out. Oh, yeah. Yay! Mm -hmm. Where's my fucking bench? Give me a lot. Who needs me? I'm gonna go jump off the sledge you now. Goodbye. No! Okay, bye. <laughs> but, like, one of the nurses like, Doctor! What? Well, it's, it's not high enough for me to go splat. You're gonna give me a fucking heart attack, sir! Probably also helps you know the fact that he's a vampire. Yeah. It's especially the fact that I'm a vampire. Probably. He's. He, Don't he, kinda, he kinda hot though. What? I ain't fucking around with that. Over there. Okay, I saw a blood thing. Uh. Trying to find that one sick dude that carries us. Is. His name's Clay, if that helps. He. He's out here, I think. Or you are, dickhead. Alright. Is this Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is He reminds me of Tiny Tim. How could I get better in Is it the hat? Done? I hope it's the hat. Oh yeah, 100 percent Consider yourself <laughs> lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. It's like probably one of my favorite scenes in like Don't the mask. Is like me. when he fakes being I'm shot and he's like good reasons to act this way. And tell Tiny Tim I won't be home for Christmas. Have you heard the Mask was a good movie back in the day. It's kind of Black dated. Have you ever seen, like, the movie, style. like, sequel where, like, the Mask has a son Black and it's fucking done. cursed? Yeah, so... I hate uh, that movie. I think it was Son of the Mask, I think. Yeah, I hate that one. The first yeah. one's great. Yeah, it's like, it's really weird, um... Do you ever think about that? Because oh, it's like know, they, you know, they changed up all the actors, obviously, and then like sure at one point, like the dog forget. gets the mask. Still it's fucking, fucking weird. Boss, it cut me good. Did he want revenge? Like what was up? That man was determined revenge. to murder you. You all. Oh, I love died. revenge. What a surprise! Revenge. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking <laughs> coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. Bowls. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that Man, all think at all costs. The top you know, maybe you should have bit this one. Oh. And I don't give a fuck what Bite 20, Tim. I mean, if you bite one guy, is that the end of the going, world? Mr. Cox. This is a shitty place with shitty staff. Uh, as long as I'm trying, I want to Google it since we didn't like, you know, do anything about it. His name's Clay Cox, right? What happens if you bite Clay Cox? Oh yeah, that's Clay. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't like Clay from the beginning, but you know, it, obviously it's up to one one five. I think it's dependent on how many people you drink from. Rather than, uh, hell. You can drink his blood later. 
with the Pembroke staff. Complete his mission first, learn a bit about him, and then kill him. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? I mean, if you want to. You don't have to, by the way. Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, all like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid. Oh, who's gonna to backstab you, bruh? I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day, I'll leave Wet this sheep boys. and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. The Wet Boot Boys! The Wet Boot Boys! Oh. The Booty Boys! Oh. I'll leave you for- Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig's style smell better. <laughs>